begin and rose to sand in my defense. So I come to tell you he's alive, to tell you that he dries every tear that falls. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad that you've tuned in today to Five Minutes from Friendship. Today, Brother Dan Boatman, the pastor of Mount Pleasant Baptist Church in Susan Moore, Alabama, is bringing our message. I love Brother Dan very much, and I hope that you'll connect with him on Facebook. God bless you. Have a great day. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Dan Boatman. I'm the pastor of Mount Pleasant Baptist Church here in Susan Moore, Alabama. Brother Clint Lulee last asked me to come on and share a devotion with you, a uh, little quick Bible lesson. So I'm going to share what God's been placing in my heart over the last several months, the verse that God's held up in the backdrop of my life and my spirit and, 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 and held in front of me through the season that I've been going through. And when I say it's been a hard season, it's been a hard season. Um, I'm not going to go into many details about it other than just let you know that uh, uh it's it's been rough there's been some challenges along the way and and i know that you experience challenges too so i'm not going to undermine what you've experienced by no stretch of the imagination but at the same time i'm going to share this verse with you proverbs 3 5 trust in the lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding you see god requires us to trust us trust him with all our heart not with parts of it not with pieces of it um we can't compartmentalize that trust. Uh, a lot of times we'll want to give him certain parts of our lives that, okay, God, I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you have, um, my job, but you're not going to get my family. Uh, God, I'll let you have my family, but you're not going to get my career. Um, and if God was to ever, uh, take one of those things that we're holding from withholding from him and not trusting him fully with away from us, it could probably affect our walk with God in a great, great way. You see, the key to trusting God with all of our heart is, is found in the second part of that verse when it says, lean not onto your own understanding. See, God never does anything logical. He, uh, and, and in order to fully trust him, we cannot rely on our logic to get us through it. There's going to be times we're going to experience things that we don't understand, we can't understand, and in all honesty, we may never understand. But that's where God says, now you're going to have to fully trust me. I really think in my life personally, God has brought me to a place where even though I can't figure out what he's doing, why he's doing it, um, I know he's teaching me things, but at the same time, uh, I've come to a place where he's, he's teaching me. He's saying, you know what? You're going to have to trust me, Dan. And he's telling you the same thing. You're going to have to trust me. You're going to have to trust me with your marriage. You're going to have to trust me with your finances. You're going to have to trust me with your children. You're going to have to trust me with your ministries. And um, those are hard, especially when things start to get disrupted in the midst of that and you can't figure out what's going on. I've learned something about God. If you're waiting on him to do something that makes sense, you're going to probably wait a long time. And um, God, God says for us to trust him. Um, we got to trust him completely. Uh, trust, complete trust requires complete surrender too. So I want to challenge you. Um, really look down in the depths of your heart and see, okay, what have I not given the Lord complete trust in? What am I still trying to lean on in my own life and hold on to in my own life or control in my own life? And... Is there something in my life that I don't understand God doing? And if there is, maybe that's a place in your life where God is actually pinpointing and saying, okay, you're trying to figure this out when I'm asking you to just to trust me with it. So I promise you this, if we, and me included, will release what's in our hands to God, I promise, promise you this, he'll do more with it on accident than we can do with it on purpose. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this. I love you. Uh, may the Lord bless you. Have a great evening.